Being at you here, I'm in the house. I just finished cooking, cleaning, lots of different stuff. So excuse my appearance, but I am going to be traveling soon and I wanted to show you and I did say a video was coming on my travel gear. So let's get to it. Okay, so excuse the background noise. Um, someone's watching television. Um, so these are my two travel cases. I do have a duffel carry-on, um, which I guess I should have brought out. Alrighty, so here's everything. The luggage that I got is Delcy, and this is not a new piece of luggage. I got it from Macy's about three years ago, and I bargained and waited until it went on sale. So I got the large one here, the small one, which is actually um, is a carry-on, and the duffel, okay? Well, the duffel or the weekender bag, whichever one you want to call it. The weekender bag I don't use as much because that's literally, I use it as for short trips and so forth. And the other two gets a lot more mileage. On top are the two bags that I use primarily for travel. The blue one you've seen already, that is the DKNY one. And that one is primarily for the warmer temperatures when I'm traveling, so spring and summer. And, um, this um, leatherology one down here um, uh, with my name uh, in debossed inside there is um, for the winter months. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to do this with one hand and also panning, because I've never done this before, so bear with me. So this is the Delcy um, logo, and all of the luggage has rose gold hardware. So you have this one pocket here, it goes all the way down to the depth of the bag. It's pretty deep. Um, if you're carrying a laptop, you can fit a laptop here. And then to the side, you have one pocket here. So bottles, anything quick you want to get to. And you have that on both sides. Now in the back, is simple you have a trolley sleeve you do not have a long zipper like in the front where the logo is now for the middle you just have one zipper compartment or one zipper pull rather and as you can see it has gotten some good wear and tear out of me thus far I do have it stuffed with some things just to keep it shape and also for storage reasons. So let's get into it. So you have this big open pocket in the middle. You have a zippered component here. And here's a zipper. There you go. On that you have pockets for pens, phones, I guess cards, whatever you may need. You have pockets there. Now, on the other side, you have another big pocket which also fits a laptop if needed, and then a zippered component. It's juggling with one hand, so I needed to use both. So you have one pocket there and a zippered component there. Let me take out the stuffing. This is the space you're working with, with Delcy. It's pretty roomy, isn't it? Very roomy for me, and that's why I strictly use it for short trips, and literally this is all I need along with like a a personal item and even though for short trips I'm not going on it on the plane you know what I mean by a personal item something like a work bag or something like that or a travel bag before I close I did want to show that this mechanism you can really open up your bag I love that mechanism of this weekender bag it works very well yeah this this view makes you see it a lot better. And as you can see, it has a very nice um, nylon, most likely polyester lining, but it's good to clean. Nothing has even went wet. My contents inside have never gotten wet. So definitely worth the money. So now let's zip it up. Just to show you the zipper pull, everything works well have a little mark here i don't know if this is actual leather i don't remember i bought it so long ago but it has been in my closet now for like three to five years no i would say three to four years 
and I have no really much big brands here. Delcy is a French brand and The Weekender has feet. Obviously, I've got some stains on there, which I'm just realizing I do have because I never really look at the bottom of this. But yeah, it has four feet. But yeah, so that's The Weekender bag out of my Delcy um, trio. Alrighty, so before I get into the other two Delcy um, luggage, I was gonna go into the two travel companions that I use. This burgundy, beautiful burgundy Bordeaux. I believe that's the color that Leatherology calls it. And this wonderful sky, almost baby blue DKNY bag. Now, this one. I have a little charm in here. And this charm just houses some, um, what call it again? What is this called? I should know, hand sanitizer. Yes, just hand sanitizer for easy access. Um, this is the only bag that I have this on and mainly because I just want quick access to it And it has a lovely little flower on here, which I think matches this quite nicely it has my initials right here and I love how um, Subtle that is already. I think I've got The perfect shot It's not as blurry as before and I think you're seeing a little bit of the texture I'm gonna come in closer There we go so from far away, it looks like a smooth leather bag, but it has a nice textured grain to it, but it's still very smooth. It's not pebbled. I don't know what you would call this leather at all, but it is beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, it is calf leather. This is the Alex work bag, but I don't know why they call it the work bag. And this is the horizontal one. I am thinking of getting the vertical one because I think I will like that more. It seems like it will hold a lot more as well. And the hardware on here is like a champagne gold. It's not exactly a silver. Now, why I don't why I don't know why they call it a work bag is because it has a hidden trolley sleeve. Right here. This is the hidden trolley sleeve. And even with, and you can see um, the zippered component, when you want it to use this as an actual pocket, you zip it right back up and it has a magnetic um, thing there where it will just connect just like so. All right, but because depending on the item, if it's big enough that it won't go through here, you can still put things in here while you put it onto your suitcase. But this is the bag. This is the zipper pull, very smooth. And let me just secure that over here. Now, into the bag. The bag interior is this lovely beige tan color. You do have Leatherology stamped right in there. You have a zippered component here. This is a very slouchy bag, guys. It's not structured and I'm not going to get, sorry about that. This is not structured and I'm not going to get a um, organizer for it. Um, wet wipes when traveling. Um, my, if you don't remember, my satin, or no, it's actually silk eye mask for when traveling. I have that. And my passport wallet or travel wallet from Leatherology as well. I'll get into this in a bit. But the texture on this is a lot different. This is more of a pebbled leather. This is not as a smooth finish in terms of like, this feels smooth with some texture. This feels smooth, but you can tell it's pebbled, if that makes any sense. So if I were to hold it up together, you can see the texture difference. All right, switching to the front, you have two slip pockets, one here and another here. Oh, what do I have in here? Some old receipts. Some, okay, you never can tell when you would need any of these things. So yeah, some perfume, some lotion, potpourri, um, Tylenol, things that you'd wanna travel with that I just don't take out of my bag because they're travel size and I can have my real size versions here at home. So yeah, this is the Alex work bag in the horizontal finish or horizontal shape rather. It is slouchy, I don't mind it. 
this is what it looks like. Took it out of the trolley sleeve and, and it's still slouchy, but it's a wonderful bag. It is only top handle. It is a definitely good fall color. And I don't really wear this casually. I only really use it for travels, but perhaps I should change that. This does not have feet. Yeah, it does not have feet. But as you can see, that's the hidden trolley sleeve down there. Alrighty, so I brought this one closer. This is the DKNY bag, and you've already seen the texture on this. As mentioned before, I think it mimics the Epi leather, Louis Vuitton's Epi leather very nicely. But it's not, it is DKNY. Now this does not have a hidden trolley sleeve, but the handles are big enough to go over the handle. Now this is the big one, and usually when I'm using the big one, I honestly, I honestly prefer to use the um, Alex, the Leatherology bag, the Alex work bag, because it fits better on there, and I'll show it to you in a second. But let's show you the contents of this bag. So, in the front here, you have a zipper component, you have a zip top, you just open like so, and you get to the contents of your bag. You can just flip these in if need be. Now inside is a lovely beige interior with DKNY written on over it, okay? Typically, you would need two hands to handle this. At least I'm struggling right now with one. You have one slip pocket right in the front, and obviously I have my hand sanitizer, Vaseline, lotion. Not that much different from the first one. This one here says DKNY, and you have a zippered component here. Let me open that for you, and there we go. But wipes again. <laughs> never know when you may need them um and that's pretty much the extent of that but as you can see is a um open pocket you can do it as you will this is a lot more structured it does have feet right here which i believe says dkny on them perfect and as you can see i have pretty much no corner wear at all I'll show you how the leatherology looks on this. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, the handles align a lot better with the, um, the suitcase handle on here because you have a shorter pull versus the smaller one. So this one works, actually this bag works best on both. Um, and the DKNY works best only on the smallest one. So that's something to note. However, I can put this over my shoulder if need be. This one is strictly top handle. So it's good that it works best on both because wearing this top handle throughout the airport is can be very annoying. Um, it does have D-rings on here, so you can put like a strap on it, but this bag is too big for me to wear crossbody or on the shoulder. I don't think that will feel very nice to me. Plus, because it's such a slouchy bag, it'll kind of cave in this way, and I, I don't want that either. So, yeah, those are my travel work bags. Let's get into the suitcases. Okay, let's start with the big one first. As you can see, and if you have not noticed, on both of the suitcases, I have a plastic covering. I bought them off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. Um, before I had this kind of suitcase, the hard shell. I always had the soft shell ones and I was hesitant even though these look very pretty. I've always seen them have lots of scratches on them so I want to preserve my purchase for the longest time. Also, um, not only did the plastic cover make it kind of more so scratch resistant if water catches on it, anything like that, it's kind of like almost waterproofing to some extent, your luggage in a sense. Okay, this is what it's looking like without the covering. I'll turn it around. So now I do have some wear and tear on it. There's, the covering is not going to eliminate wear and tear. It does minimize it as much as possible. And the most wear and tear, I would say, is around the handles. It looks grungy, but I think perhaps if I alcohol it, it may look a bit better. 
I did have to fix a reel because it got broken in transit, not transit, while flying in the airport. I guess they were manhandling my luggage. I do want to mention the process of fixing that. The Dulcie's customer service is wonderful. Although I bought it from Macy's, they were very more than helpful. All right, so this is the interior of the bag. Is the color scheme is very monochromatic. It's all different shades of gray, which is perfect for me. I wanted something simple and something that will um, stand out that I can recognize my luggage as soon as possible, but something not too loud. I didn't want a lot of metallic. Even though this is a silver, it's like a soft and it has a bluish nature to it too, which I also like. So there's not much compartments, which is fine. This plastic one is, comes in handy a lot sometimes, especially if you're going down to the Caribbean. And then you have two zippered components here. One here that holds a lot. Sometimes you'll put your intimates or other things. This is quite simple. You just kind of connect them both together, just like so, so you can kind of separate things and kind of compress things down a little bit further. I do not have this um, expanded. This is the, um, what I call it again? This is the decompressed version, but you can expand it further where you can raise it up more. Um, I don't use it all the time, but because usually the size is sufficient. I believe this is the 29 inch one, but it can be done. Now here goes the smaller one. I'll give it a 360. As you can see, it is literally a mirrored um, layout of the bigger one. The only thing is that there's not two pockets. It's just one big zip pocket here that goes all the way across. But you have your wet or plastic one here, which I normally put wet items if I'm um, not doing laundry, which I normally don't. I just let them air dry, but I will still keep them separate. Um, and yeah, so this is what it's looking like. And of course, this can also expand as well, just like the other one. Hey guys, sorry for the abrupt ending, but this is um, my travel gear. I really wanted to show you my travel bags and my suitcase collection, if I would call it that. Um, I also, if you guys were interested in Delcy products in general, I would definitely recommend it them in general their customer service was wonderful even if you do not buy their products from them themselves so that is something to note but i hope you enjoyed the video bye